Hello and welcome to another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, The Hand That Never Lets Go, August 31st. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Isaiah 41, 13. The sun shone brilliantly on the dazzling snow of one of the highest mountains of the Alps as a traveler followed his guide along the narrow path. He had confidence in his guide and followed fearlessly in his footsteps, though the track was entirely new to him. Suddenly he hesitated for the bold mountaineer stepped across a narrow but very deep chasm and then, holding out his hand, asked him to take it and step across. Still the traveler hesitated, but the guide encouraged him to obey, saying reassuringly, Take my hand, that hand never lets go. Dear young friends, one greater than any human guide calls upon you to follow him over the heights of patience and self-sacrifice. The path is not an easy one. All the way along, Satan has prepared pitfalls for the feet of the unwary. But following our guide, we may walk with perfect security, for the path is consecrated by his footsteps. It may be steep and rugged, but he has traveled it. His feet have pressed down the thorns to make the way easier for us. Every burden we are called upon to bear, he himself has borne. Personal contact with him brings light and hope and power. Of those who follow him, he says, they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. John 10.28 We are to live only one day at a time. We do not have to do the work of a lifetime in a few hours. We need not look into the future with anxiety, for God has made it possible for us to be overcomers every day. By the exercise of living faith today, we are to conquer the enemy. We must today seek God and be determined that we will not rest satisfied without his presence. We should watch and work and pray as though this were the last day that would be granted us. If you are right with God today, you are ready if Christ should come today. Thank you for listening today. I trust that you have received the message God had in store for you. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha.